What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video we're going to be reviewing the Citadel Tempo Key keyboard. If you haven't checked out my previous video reviewing the Citadel Tempo Pad, I'll go ahead and link that on the top right right now and leave it down below in the description. I want to thank Lucas from Citadel for sending me over the Tempo Key for me to review and check out. So we're going to go into some of the features that it has, some of the uses inside of the Synodo application where you can customize what each button, knob, or keys do inside of the program. And then we'll do a short little demo of us recording some music using the tempo key. With that being said, let's get right to it. This is the Tempo Pad's brother, so we're looking at the keyboard. It's a 25 key mini keyboard. So we're gonna check out some of the features we can use on the Tempo key. We're gonna look at some of the knobs and functions we have available. We're also gonna check out the Synodo software where we can customize what some of these buttons and keys can do inside of the program. And we'll take a look at that. Using my laptop, we're gonna be running some logic in here. We're going to unbox this. I have not touched this yet, so this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna be unboxing the unit. The keyboard comes in this nice little pouch that you can take anywhere. It's super small. It does come with a little strap, so you can also just kind of carried it around your shoulder. So this strap is actually very useful. Again, if you are traveling and you wanna keep your tempo key within arm's reach. So now let's go ahead and open up the tempo key pouch. So as soon as we open, we are going to be introduced with a keyboard. So let's go ahead and take it out. It's inside of a nice soft nylon plastic bag and here it is. So this comes in two colors. It comes in purple and black. We have very standard features on the keyboard. What's really cool right off the bat is the pitch and modulation. Instead of having a wheel that you can turn, this is going to be touch sensitive. So you just have to drag your finger on this. This is plastic and there's a sensor that's gonna be capturing your finger's motion, that's pretty cool. To the right of that, we have our transpose keys, we have our octave keys, so you can transpose in semitones and also octaves. You have the main volume knob that you can move here. We have eight pads inside of this MIDI keyboard, so you can map this out to whatever sounds you want inside of your DAW. We have our transport functions right below that. If we move to the right, we have our assignable knobs. Now these knobs are smooth. If you touch the main knob, you, you kind of feel the clicks inside of it, so you feel like you're turning the knob. However, the ones on the right side, they're very smooth. So when you're dialing in your automation, you're gonna have a very nice smooth feeling when you turn those knobs. We have eight of them that we can assign, and then below that we have a knob bank and a pad bank. I'm assuming we can save multiple configurations within the banks for the pads and also for the knobs. Now right below the knobs as well, we have an ARP feature, so I'm assuming we can arpeggiate, have a fixed velocity, we have a note repeat, and we have a tap tempo. And then below that we have the 25 keys. So let's go ahead and check out what else we have inside of the pouch. And inside of the pouch we have a little plastic Ziploc bag. This has an adapter here, so it looks like a USB to USB-C adapter that we can use. We have a Synodo sticker, we have a cloth to clean our keyboard, and then we have the manual in here. And then we also have our MIDI cable, so in case you wanna do a MIDI out from the tempo key, you can use this MIDI out for that. And then we have our USB-C that we can use. It's branded by Synodo, so that's really cool. It's a nice orange cable. And then we also have a power adapter that's with USB as well that we can use for powering your unit. Let's see if there's anything else that we can use in here. So that's about it. That's all that comes with the Synodo Tempo key. So we're gonna go ahead and get this plugged in. All right, so here we have our logic open and let's go ahead and see if we can get some sound out of this. 
So we have some sound coming out of the Citadel. It's very easy to plug in. So all I did was use the adapter to plug it into my laptop. And then I have an extra hub to allow me to plug in a USB because it's powered by a little USB port. You can either use the hub or you can plug it in maybe to a wall hub. We have these lights that are lighting up. And if I go ahead and move my finger up and down on this, it, it does seem to be very responsive. We also have a volume knob. So here I turn down the volume. And here I'm turning up the volume. It works straight off the bat. And down here we have actually a little OLED screen that's telling us what knobs we're, we're moving. And it's going to change based on what we're controlling here. So I move the master volume so I could see in the little screen here. It says master volume 100. If I lower it down to 50, there's half the volume. And I can also turn it up all the way up to 127. So right below that, we have the transpose key. So let's go ahead and try that out. So here I'm on C. There's B. Right, we have a half step transposition. We have octave. So here's C. And then we can go up. So it works perfectly fine. We also have some pads that we can assign. But we'll look at that in the software in just a second. But here it's already mapped chromatically to um, a lower probably like C1 or something like that. So we have we have transport controls here and then we have extra knobs that we can map inside of the program. We can either do MIDI learns on these knobs or we can actually attach them to maybe like a MIDI CC and do some more automation through there. For right now, let's just go ahead and check out what we have inside of the Synodo program. So if we open it up down here, we're going to go to the Synodo tempo key. Here we see a, it got a get success, so it's reading that the Synodo is connected and the interface is super intuitive. You could just look at it and you already know what's going on. We have pad A, pad B, so those are two knob or pad banks. And then we have the knob A, knob B bank for the knobs on the right. We can see that we have our little keyboard right here. All right, so we're going to look at the arpeggiator here. So here we have the tempo. We're going to bump that up maybe to like 160. And then I need to hit send to hardware so that the Synodo tempo key knows that we want to switch that to 160. So I'm going to hit the ARP button here. So it lights up red. You can't really see it on the camera here, but it lights up red and we're able to play a chord. And it starts to arpeggiate for us. Let's say we want to speed it up a little bit more. Let's do 220. We're going to send this to the hardware and play it. Right, we can also change, so let's go back down to 160. We could change the time division. So let's say I want 16th notes, send that to the hardware. And we can use the arpeggiator like that. So that's a really cool feature that we can use inside for you to get those complex arpeggiation. You can also change the mode. So we can do the arpeggiator going up, going down. We can do it in a specific order, random, exclusive, and inclusive. So if we move to the pad side, again, this is very easy to read. We can change, let's say we want pad number one here instead of C2. We can change that to be like an A6. So if I send that to the hardware and I play now the pad one, it's going to be a very high A note. It's very easy to assign this. We can change the MIDI channel number so that it works inside of Logic. And then we have the knobs. We could change this to be anything. So let's say we want this to be MIDI CC number seven and we say we say send to hardware seven is volume. So now if I move it, it's now a volume knob. So that's how we use the software. Again, super easy to use the software. So now let's go ahead and just create a track using the tempo key and see what our experience is like. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up some software instruments inside of logic and we're just going to probably pull out a keys i'll probably use this electric piano we're going to use a drum set and then maybe a bass and let's see how it goes perfect so we're all done creating our small little example just using the tempo key the keys they're synth keys they're not weighted or semi-weighted so it's very synthy so it's super soft but for on the go, just to write something really quick, this is the perfect keyboard to travel around with. It makes it super easy to plug in your notes. So let's go ahead and listen to the track now.
If you want a more in-depth review on the Tempo Key, just let me know in the comment section. I can make a follow-up video. If you want to check out the Synodo Tempo Pad, I'm going to go ahead and drop that link down below in the description. So with that being said, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to share this with your musician friends. I will see you guys in the next video.